Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! We got a special guest this up in this bitch, fucker, dude. We got the big My rat boy. king himself, What's the up? Theo What's, What's up, up, man? Welcome to the podcast. Michael has entirely way too much stuff on his corner. Why do you have so much shit over there? You have an Amazon Alexa head. Just the head. Just the tip. Hold up. Someone Pause. put right. that there. I didn't put it you there. Your sunglasses, keys, your phone, literally wood floor from Mount Peanuts, Five no. Energy, and a water bottle. What's wrong with that? It's You're about to go on the episode of Chopped. What's Chopped? Is there a, is there a show called Chopped? Yeah. Yeah. It's where it? they give you like 10 normal items. And then they're like, also, also, you need to put Elmer's glue in there. They give you one weird oh, thing. Oh, 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 that, oh, oh Yeah, they're oh, like, oh. make a souffle, but also here's a bull's cock. Do bulls have Fear big fact, cocks? Come on. I don't think so. You want to make a bet that they don't have big cocks? I know they're like, oh, I'm a bull. Look at my horns. Yeah, but compared to what? Why do you think what? I have horns? Compared so, to what? So you don't look like, at the cocks. Uh, like corn on the cob? Like compared to what? Corn on the cob's big. Dude, if my cock... Is your... No. Dude, if my cock was as big as a corn on the cob, I'd be so goddamn happy. I think if I could make any inanimate object my penis, it'd be a pool noodle. What? You... Okay, compare compare nah, a an object one. compared to objects to your actual to scale penis. Oh no, I was saying in 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 make believe land. You would have From, that big? No, I said not a full one. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Well it's yeah. still it's still pretty thick. Yeah. Yeah. I'd use it at a home run derby. <laughs> Those are boring. Are they, oh, what are you gonna I do? Like Hit them. a home run? I think it's the opposite of what baseball needs to be. Or it is what baseball because they're just fucking they're just hitting heaters. That's why I like the slam dunk contest. You're like, oh, what's gonna happen? A dunk. Those are just geared towards slam that dunk stupid contest. Are alpha. so fucking boring now. What? They're why? terrible. Could they, they ran out of things? There's only a limited amount of things that a human can do, that is and they true. like ran out of it. Well, After need Vince start... Carter, fucking. Uh, what, what does he do when he dips his thing. hand in there? Yeah, he dipped his hand in there. Yeah. Well. I don't know. They should uh, get more in. Uh, I don't know. Well, well, what's next? You're going to hit a jewel midair? I mean, but they. Lick they, a cooch? They got to do that. Blow an O while you're up there? Oh, oh. You have to do it like holding something. Like holding like your newborn baby. Air fryer? You could do that. Hmm. I wanna, how does Is there on? something. Do you think you will ever be able to make a better chicken than the rotisserie chickens they have at the grocery store? No. Nah. It's. Dude, nah. I have one the other day. It's like $7. First of all, inflation used to be five. Come on. It's like $7. It's just heated. It's got the skin is crispy. It comes in the same bag that you get grapes out of. It's beautiful. <laughs> and you just come home and you pluck it all apart. You put it in and you got chicken for the week. I'll tell you something, dude. I will never be able to make a better chicken than that. I don't know what they, so what, what do they infuse it with water? Why is it so moist? I will never make a cooter that wet in my goddamn life. We know. Hold on. How? What, what? Moist, moist. <laughs> I don't know. It's You take it out the bag and it's just, it's the perfect level of hot. It's not too hot where it burns your little fingers. I hate that shit. But you can pick it apart, you know? I hate when they give you fresh fries, like at McDonald's, mm -hmm. like fresh out the thing and they smell so fucking good, but you can't eat them. I, I, why don't they set I the temperature? That. Set the temperature hot where like I can two eat seconds. them. They're hot for like two seconds. Sure. I have to put it next to the AC so I can eat them. Funny. Too hot. Are you a honey mustard guy? So when you go to McDonald's, you're getting sauces. Barbecue. I, 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 I can't. Honey mustard's all right. I'll put it what in the What in the fuck? It'll be top three. All right. Barbecue's the best. Barbecue's, f at McDonald's I'm talking about. Barbecue is like your uncle that lets you cuss when you're young. It's just like, it's comforting. Yeah, it is nice. It is. Honey mustard's good. It's definitely good. It's just like, I would like it on a sandwich. Mustard on a sandwich? What's Must the best sandwich? What's the best sandwich? Ever? You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you're going, you're like, is it a oh. meatball or is it an Italian sandwich? Oh, or su subs though. Sub. It's well, different. What the fuck's difference with a sandwich and a sub? Oh, I mean, it's a lot. You're, you're going to have submarine? a peanut butter and jelly sub? That's There's hilarious. <laughs> you go to Subway and be like, yeah, I'll do uh, the Jif over there with a little bit of that smuckers. Would, I think that would be really good. That's what Elvis Son, did. I had fucking cookies last night. Answer the question. What? <laughs> What's the best sandwich? Oh, you asked me a question? No. Um, okay. Sandwich. Best sandwich? Like what's uh, the best type of sandwich you can get? There's only one right answer. Hot Italian. How, what are you going to say? I, I think Italian, but not hot. Oh. Cold cut Italian. Cold Italian? Oh, yeah. The fucking meat's a little chilly. It's got the crisp of the, <laughs> it's got the crisp iceberg with the, the olive oil and the vinaigrette on it. Oh, my God. That's the best sandwich in the fucking world. I'll give that to you that you get that when you heat it, you lose the crunch. But what I do is I have them heat the meat and the cheese. And then they put all the stuff on. People fuck up and they put all like they put warm it all meat in. In my sandwiches. You don't like what? I don't like the warm meat in the sandwich. I mean, you can't beat it.
You can't oh, be- I'll beat somebody's warm meat. I'll tell you what. I got to beat my cock. Yeah. Yeah, I got one out last night, but I still feel full up. Do you want to take a five? No. Nah, I'll come How back. This podcast would suck cock at, right after I can. That's what we should do. I know we've pitched this before, but we sh- for sure should do half the podcast, go jerk off. I'd be laying on the floor. I wouldn't Probably come back. in your semen, because that's where you- That's exactly- yeah, I have to let everyone leave. You had cookies last night. I had cookies, dude. From where? Oh, God. I'm going to fuck- the- Hold on, hold on. Let me get it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my God! I'm so are they sorry. Like the ones that are like trendy everywhere, like the crumble cookies. No, they're not. Those crumble. are so good. You've had them. I haven't crumble? seen yeah. them. What the hell's the deal with them? They come in like a pink box. It's uh, I think they have uh, buddy crumble the, the, in the pink box. Yeah, they're, 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 they're not called crumble. C R U M B L. I think crumble. Why do why do companies hate vowels? They're like you know we you know we could be edgier and we could just take out all vowels. Why? I don't know. I think apps did it first. And apps just, did. Apps yeah. love doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Razor phone did that? R Z R I don't know. No, Razor. A. Vowel. Yeah, but they didn't do the O at the end. Oh. Talking about these? This is the one? No. Oh. That no, these are cookie higher. on the right got nutted in. No, there's a cookie place that's next to my new home and it is fucking phenomenal. They heated up the cookies, but like to perfection. They were so goddamn soft, dude. I got this one cookie that was like a lemon. Cheesecake strawberry dumb. cookie. Dumb. It sounds dumb. dumb. My girl got it. And when she got it, I was like, "You're an dumb. idiot." And then she, and then I ate it. It was crazy. I got a lemon tart cookie. Suck. My- Both you guys got lemon cookies. I love lemon. Idiot, dude. There's lemon Oreos. Suck, Suck my cock on Mars. What is wrong, with Gabriel? You? Bring it up. You just like lemon because it feels like the acidity just burns all the toenail fungus in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, and I gotta, I gotta listen. Good joke. Lemon. Yeah. You like lemon meringue pie? No. Suck Ooh, cup. That's where you it. jump it's off. Terrible. Yeah, lemon, lemon rank. I like the the top, the stuff on top, the foam. I don't. Is the, what is the foam? Is the foam like che- cheese? Oh no, no, it ain't. It ain't. Dude, I don't know what it is. Lemon Oreos. You, I know you're like, oh, hold on. You can have Oreos, right? They have gluten free Oreos, but not those. Those are fucking shut, stupid, dude. They're not no, stupid. Even the ninety nine cent stores, like, get those poor people out of here. No, they're not stupid, dude. Honestly, it makes my mouth water when I look at these, dude. I'd be. My girl, because we like moving it, she has uh, uh, like a, like a, she has everything organized. It's it sounds. I'm like you're dumb, and then I'm like, God, oh, this is great. Yeah. Everything fucking work. like she has a literally a cookie bin. There's there's a bin, and they're full of cookies. I don't know if that's apparent. Dog. What do you, can you give me a visual of a bin? Like is it like smaller than a basket, bigger than a basket, or is it like a tub? No, it's like a um like a plastic bin, like this big, uh-huh. this long, I guess. So you uh-huh. always like got this. cookies up in the bin, son. I'm coming over. Yeah, that sounds please. delightful. Yeah, Guys, I, I got no. She she's like she, there's uh, <laughs> there's like you open cabinets and there's food. I've never had this before. Yeah. Every time I open my cabinets, a bat flies out. It I'm like, wild. oh, I dated you last night. Goth joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, living with a woman will change your life. You real you don't realize how f- much you fucked up in life until you live with a woman. Yeah, I didn't wash the air fryer for like six months. I here's a funny thing: when I left my old apartment, you know what I did with my air fryer? Threw it in the garbage. Why? I just threw it away. It was too. You know how you you have something that's too dirty. Like I this is no. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've I've had Tupperware that like. Do you ever not put Tupperware in the sink because you don't want to look at it? But so you put like a few bites left in the fridge and then yes. you're like, that's literally, and then like three weeks go by and you're like, Pfft. you gotta throw it away. Goodbye. Literally take it and throw it away. Yeah, because you're like a fucking duck breast in there from four weeks ago. Yeah, you know what's fucked up? You throw it away and then a dolphin's gonna fuck it in like a week. What? <laughs> it's gonna go in the ocean. <laughs> How much plastic does the ocean get? It's all New Jersey. It doesn't go in the ocean. I don't know anything. That's crazy. It is insane. You got to try these lemon cookies. I, I, Stupid. You're disrespecting dumb, them and I'm, I'm very upset. No, it's just like if I want cookie, I want like chocolatey and sweet, not fucking tart. I don't want to have to go. I feel like everything lemony you have to. It's not too tart though. Do what you would like you do if a girl sucked your dick and afterwards? It... I would go to the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> she should too because. 100%. Yeast infection. Can you make bread from it? <laughs> Tortillas. <laughs> That's good. Tortillas Why are good. Why the fuck do they make wheat tortillas? Shut the hell up. I don't even know what a tortilla is. What? Dude, I want to... <laughs> You're just saying shit now. Yeah. What do you mean you don't know what a tortilla is? It's literally everything. But did you... <laughs> you do, the, way you, the way you just looked at me... It's the funniest thing. All right. My point is, I went to a fucking uh, uh, Mexican place in uh, Chicago. I went to Chicago this weekend. Did Everyone, you go to a place called Wiener Circle by chance? Let me tell you a secret. 
I didn't have any good food in Chicago. So I don't know what the Chicago. fuck happened. There's so much good food in Chicago. I'm positive, but I mean, it was definitely on me. I fucked up. Dude, you should have. I almost was that guy. And then because I was texting you when you were in Chicago, yeah. I almost was that guy that was like, let me know if you need any food recommendations out I, there. I should have asked, though. But again, to your point, it's you weren't there on vacation. You were doing shows. You wake yeah. up, you eat at Dunkin' Donuts, and you yell at the clouds. Like, there's not <laughs> much. Dude. That's li that's literally what happened. I mean, the time goes fuck. Great. So I wake up at, f at fucking 12. And I got I to gotta be at the show at, at six. Like, what, what are we doing in between that? Well, I'm six hours is kind of a big race. Period. It's not, though. You know road time's not real. Right, but for me... You wake up, you have a coffee, you're like, it's four. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, it just, I don't know what happens. You get a you get a coffee, you literally walk around the park, answer three emails, you're like, fuck, I got to be on stage in 11 minutes. Yeah. What, 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 what? Well, you get ready super early. You're like, all right, I'll get ready at three, touch my... <laughs> and then I will put on my show clothes and I'll go over bits in my room and then I'll go to the comedy club then I'll go over bits at the comedy club dude I was in the comedy condo and uh, we thought it was multiple rooms it was not I stayed was there one room it's like a studio it is not like a studio it is a studio it is a studio how many mother how many how many y'all were in there three total Jesus it was hilarious anyways it's hard to touch your cock when there's three people in the goddamn room dude it was Six in the morning, I could not fall asleep. I took a whole melatonin. Usually six that shit puts morning. me out. I could not sleep. I don't know what the hell was happening. Uh, maybe because I have like six hour inches during so the day. So what was the sleeping layout? Two on the bed, one on the futon? Nah. There was two air mattresses. I was on the, I was on the bed. Who provided the air mattresses? They were, they were there. They were in the, in the condo. Like in the closet. Wow. They blew them up. They slept. I told the guys, I was like, guys, let's just try this out one night. If it's horrendous, I'll get you guys a hotel. Like, I'm not going to have you guys sleep on the fucking ground if it's horrendous. But both of them are like, honestly, it's, it feels It's good. more fun to be with the people than to be like, I need a hotel. It really, I think if it was like, oh, I need a hotel, I probably would have got a hotel. Yeah, oh, yeah. At the same, like, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so weird to like bring people and then all of a sudden just like not be hanging out. So it's weird. Yeah, well, it's like if you're doing shows with people on the road, you want to stay in the same hotels and that's like the point so you can like hang yeah. out and go do stuff together and Dude, that's coffee, when, that. Yeah, that's when we do shows when we get the fucking two rooms together the, the joining doors or whatever in yeah. between. Best. Dude, I did that in Hawaii. It's so much fun. It was like right next to my like two uh, beds. So we'd both open the doors in the morning. What's up, bitch? Yeah. And just like right there. So fun. Anyways, couldn't, couldn't touch my cock. Six in the morning, so tired. I was like, fuck it. And I just went in the bathroom. I haven't jerked, jerked off. off in the bathroom while they were there. Yeah, I haven't jerked off like in silence like that in a, in a while. I felt like I was like back home. That's probably like how I jerk off. In silence? In the sink. I, where did I come? I came all over the toilet and I didn't want to turn the light on. I did not clean it that well. I'm going to be honest. Neil and Will, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I was tired. I had a melatonin in me. I, I can't. I, were, I, were you standing or are you sitting? Standing. I'm a, not a fucking animal. <laughs> And then you just launched on the toilet. Did you aim for the bowl or you just, I just, you know, in that moment, dude, I'm not like, Oh, let me just, let me just fucking align my arrow all I, over the toilet. I'm painting the fucking wall. Here's the thing. I didn't clean that well. Also, you have a melatonin in you. I don't know if you know this can't really get extra hard. No, no. The, like I'm tired. My cock's tired. Steak, you know, <laughs> it's enough, but you might want to send it back. God damn. Tour dates, tour dates, tour dates, stand-up comedy, tour dates. Where's Michael Blaustein going to be? I will tell you. August 11th, this freaking Thursday, dude. Brea, California tickets are going, so grab them. Uh, August 12th, I'll be in Vancouver. Uh, that's almost sold out, so grab tickets if uh, they're still available. August 14th, uh, Trevor and I will be in Edmonton boom, boom, boom. Uh, with headliner Tom Segura, so definitely come to that. Um, August 24th, I'll be in Oxnard, California. Ticket sales are garbage so please go get those tickets oxnard september 8th to the 10th i'll be in tempe arizona september 22nd i'll be in madison wisconsin september 23rd i'll be in milwaukee wisconsin october 16th i'll be in denver uh october 20th i'll be in honolulu uh november 2nd i will be in houston and november 3rd i'll be in dallas uh go get tickets right now uh at blaucomedy.com that is blau comedy Dot com. Mr. Wallace. This week I'm going to be in Calgary, Alberta, the Texas of Canada. I'm putting poutine in that pussy. No, I'm not because that would make a yeast infection. Calgary this weekend at the Laugh Shop. First show is sold out. The rest are getting low. So go to TrevorWallaceComedy.com. And the rest of the tour dates are now... <gasps> Edmonton this week with Michael Blaustein, Tom Segura, a bunch of other funny people, the Great Outdoors Comedy Festival, and Boise, Las Vegas, Madison. Six sold out shows. Suck my cock. Bro, respectfully, bro, bro. I love you.
you. Oxnard, hometown shows. Uh, that's in September the 16th through the 18th. Got to push that one because like Michael, tickets are a little slow. Oxnard, <laughs> this is my fucking hometown. Come out. Um, Fort Lauderdale, Charleston, South Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina, Phoenix, San Francisco, Houston, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Salt Lake City, Boulder, Colorado, Fort Collins, Colorado, Oklahoma City, in the state, Oklahoma, <laughs> Tulsa, Oklahoma, New Haven, Connecticut, Atlantic City, which is moving oddly, yeah, and Red Bank, New Jersey. So if you heard any of those, they are in the span from now until the end of December. Go to TrevorWallsComedy.com to find out the date and get your tickets today. Also, listen to my Spotify live show, Melenzi, every other Wednesday or whenever I'm not on an airplane to go to one of these shows. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Guys, and Gabe, hit him with the flat. Goddamn. Our show today is sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Microdose Gummies deliver a perfect entry-level dose of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good. So, you've probably heard about microdosing, huh? Oh, yeah, I yeah. have. If not, if not, just know that all sorts of people are microdosing daily to feel healthier and perform better, dude. Yeah, also get a good uh, night's sleep. Uh -huh. Feel more creative. Chill out, wind down. You sleep like a baby, dude. Wah, wah, dude. Wah, wah. You for know what me, that translates to huh. microdose.com. 100%, dude. <laughs> for me, dude, for me, when yeah. I take them, freaking 10 out of 10, okay? Because I'll tell you, sometimes I literally cannot sleep, and taking a little bit of microdose gummies makes me feel sleepy, yeah. but not too. Here's the thing, dude. I, me personally, THC affects me crazily. So I can't do the old smoke, 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 but with like a little entry level, I feel good. I can still cognitively operate. It's great. Highly, highly recommend. Yeah, they're delicious. And also what I hate about the other edibles I would try that weren't this is, you know, they take like two hours to kick in. They're kicking in while I'm already asleep. Bitch, you're late. Yeah. You missed the dinner. So these you can take earlier in the night because you're not going to be fucking floored, but you'll feel good. Word. So, you know, so it's like, so you're not, you don't have to take them right before you go to bed. So you can kind of just have your night on them, you know? Love it. Nice. Love it. Love um, it. Also, what's great about it is dude, they, they might have the easiest website in the world. Microdose.com. Micro, you know how to spell that because you got small wangs. Uh, your boy, microdose.com. M I C R O D O S E.com. Promo code socks, and that'll get you 30% off your first order. Whoa. And free shipping, dude. Free shipping. Free shipping. Microdose is also available nationwide. Links can be found in the show description. But again, that is microdose.com. And use promo code socks to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Guys! Go! Run it! Do it! God damn. Dude, speaking of meeting Mercy, I got a meeting Mercy in Vegas when I was there. Oh, when I went with the, to my girl took me to the Vegas Summer League thing. NBA yeah, went there. But like, oh, let's get a nice dinner to, to celebrate, right? So you got a, did I tell you the story already? No. Fucking, a, a too expensive steak. I was like, I, I'm pissed. Yeah. Like, I got the cheapest one, but it was still dumb. Oh, yeah. And they put it down, and I was like, oh, this looks great. It was horrible. I've never had like a steak where I'm like, oh, this tastes bad. It tastes horrible. And that's coming from somebody who gets sirloin tips at IHOP religiously. <gasps> Speaking of daddy, my new place, walkable to IHOP. What? Walkable to IHOP. My new place. Oh, I, I thought you were saying this is a new IHOP. Oh, thing, sorry, like sorry, sorry. walkable IHOP. No. I was like, what is that? <laughs> what does that mean? Walkable. There's an IHOP over there? Sir, walkable. Walk up. Yeah, that's what's funny because you would have told the chef that this steak tastes like shit. He's like, well, it's aged for 30 days and it's from, you know, Nova Scotia. You're just uncultured. You don't know. And you're like, yeah, well, I get steak tips from IHOP. And I know so a good steak. So much better. Here's the thing, though. I told the, 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 the server, I was like, I'm so sorry. I literally never do this. But, like, this tastes like it's, like, spoiled meat. It tasted spoiled. I, I don't know how to describe it. And I'm like, can you just tell me if it's bad? If it's bad, then I won't eat it. But if it's if it's this... If this is what it tastes like, then I'll eat it because I fucking ordered it. I fucked up. And I was like, if you just take it back to the chef and just make sure it's good. And I was like, I don't care if the chef takes a bite. I honestly do not care. Just let me know if it's fine. And he's like, okay, it sounds good. He came back like five minutes later. He's like, listen, uh, legally the chef can't eat this. <laughs> like the chef's not allowed to take a bite of it. <laughs> but, but in my head, I was like, this makes sense. Let's take a bite. Yeah. So he was like, can't do, do it. They bring out a new steak. So the, yeah, the manager came over and was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry you don't like your steak. Which one do you want? And I was like, which one do you prefer? And then she brought out like this filet that was dumb. But uh, apparently there was some seasoning on it to make it taste tart, which you'd think I would like because I lemon. like the lemon. No, it was tart. 
A steak that's tart? Stupid. Dumb. Uh, yeah, I just want to know why all steakhouses can't agree on one temperature. Medium rare is... Uh, yeah, that's a good point. It's either like raw as fuck on the inside or it's essentially just overcooked. Yeah, hi. yeah you, need, you need to come if up... If I put on a medium t-shirt, I want to... Also, brands keep sending me medium-sized t-shirts and I want to write this into a bit because I think it's so funny that people view me online as medium shirt energy. Yeah, I know you're medium. I'm, I'm not trying to come down on you. But when you, but, but you know, deep down you're medium, right? Um, here's the thing. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> but, but, that, but that's like, you feel like that's authentic to you. You're like, yeah. I, but for oh, me, uh, since, I, since I wear larges and right. I know what shirt I wear, yes. when they send me a medium, that's like them being like, yeah, you little fucking bitch fit in it. Yes. It's from Tilly's, you idiot. Yep. 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 Wear yep, it. So I'm yep. just walking around excreting medium shirt energy. I think that's, here's the funny thing. I think, you know what? No, I'm gonna take that back. I was gonna say in videos you look like a you look like you wear a medium, but I'm gonna be honest, you don't. You look you don't look small in videos. The only time I ever look small is if I take a photo of Young Gravy. I mean, I, he was at the show the other day. Well, he is. He's massive. Have we seen his cock? Did yet? you see Monty Lopez and Young Gravy are beefing? No. Monty Lopez. Oh, I downloaded the video. Hold on, sir. What? Because. Gravy keeps posting all these like videos and like comments on like Sherry's Inst like all the Instagram and TikTok and all that shit. I can't believe and they're and and uh, old old Monty, yeah, is like trying to like fight him, and he's like like for real fight, dude. He well he's like posting videos on TikTok being like fight me then pussy fight me then. I downloaded this video. I'm so excited. Can I just airdrop it to Gabe? Yeah. So yeah, dude, Monty Ellis is trying to beef with our boy Mr. Gravy, and this video, I. Saw him post and I was like, please be a joke. It, it seems pretty dead serious. First off, Lim it's dark in there. He's kind of sure off. Oh, it, he's smooth too. He's about to flex. No, he's not. Uh, bro, it's 13 seconds of unadulterated, uncut flexing. Stop it. Flexing, dude, pull it up. Gabe, hit him with the play. No. No. What? I, what is this tattoo in above the, his belly button? I need to see that. It says steroids. Dude, I mean, if you're Addison Ray, what are you doing if this is your dad? I'm getting out the life alert immediately. <laughs> dad, put him down. Get him to the retirement home. And then at the end, he put, run, white boy, run. Right over his cock. Have you noticed that? Yeah. But it's like, I, there's so much to depict here. It's in a dark room, shirts off. Was this the first take? I don't know. 100% not this is the first take. He has good teeth, though. He did put hashtag whooping. That's uh. Has I, Gravy responded? I think he commented on it. I think he was like, LOL, all right. And and what started this beef? Because he keeps commenting on uh, like his ex-wife's like photos oh. and like videos being like, yo, let's do something. <laughs> but she's playing into it, too. She's like, yeah, hit me up. Let's do something, all right? Shut up. Yeah. I was just with him the other day. He was Why like, does he "Yeah, love but mom so much." He's got his brand of milfs. Yeah, you know, me too. Uh, hey, your own though. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but like, what? I uh, dude, how do you do that and then post it? One, two, great bod. Three, really good tan, great teeth, jewelry on point. Yeah. Six, if that's my dad. I'm jumping off a of Sheridan in. That is fucking embarrassing as shit. I that mean, guy taught her colors. Yeah, I, I mean, it's cr like, how old is he? Can we see that? I, I mean, just like what? Addis Ray is the one that made them kind of all have this clout yeah. and this notoriety. And yeah. then you're just like, guys, can we just like act chill for like four, four minutes? What is this game? Well, this, I was just trying to figure out what his tattoo is. And he says it's Lopez. But what? Oh. This is, dude. I thought my dad was bad starting <laughs> beef with Facebook people. My dad gets bored and just starts beef with like his friends on Facebook. Realistically, I think in both cases, like, what are they doing on a daily basis? This man doesn't have a job. He's forty six. Oddly young. This man doesn't have a job. Like his job is to sit in a pool and and do that. Start beef and controversies. I mean, yeah, if he did box him, there would be a lot of views on that. And there's like, he has for real anger. 
and aggression behind it. That's literally steroids. What do they take? Human, human D-ball. Growth? Yeah, D-ball I took. Yeah, used to put shit. it in orange juice. It was disgusting. I got was fucking Was it powder jacked. or pills? Neither. It was like in a... In a uh, do you have a photo of you back in the day, like shredded up? <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm sure I, I found find one it. photo on your Facebook. It was really good. I'm sure I could find it. It was uh, you and you have a cut off jean jacket with no sleeves on it. Oh, yeah. But that was that wasn't during my D-ball days. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Unrelated. I just thought I just remember. Oh, yeah. That. that was during that was a movie. Really? Yeah. Dude, was it was like, your birthday the other day. Happy belated birthday. Thank I'm, you. Sorry. Birthday. I'm sorry. I'm oh sorry. That's God. my bad. That's my bad. No, yeah, it's almost bad. It. It I matter. saw I saw your lady post something about it, and then it was too late for me to. Why did I don't know. I'm sorry. Man, no worries. What did you do to celebrate? Did you, uh, buddy? I was you, on a plane for your birthday. Yeah, I had to go back from yeah, Chicago. Yeah, but you didn't fly for 24 hours. What did you do when you landed? Oh, let me tell you something. Your Come. Boy, your boy was horned up. Yes. After You're in road, Chicago. Yeah. It's humid. There's hoes. Yeah. I not mean, for you. Not for me. But they're lurking. They're lurking. Hoes are lurking. Hoes be lurking. Chicago like, has gorgeous women. Let me tell you. See, here's the crazy thing. Chicago women, beautiful. Chicago men, hotter. No. P- pound for pound. Could be. Hot. E- everybody wears like suits out there. Suits. What the fuck is that? Cabo Cantina in a suit. Yeah. You about to buy the place? You're a Jiffy Loop. These dudes were running around because we were by the park, running around, doing a little jogging, sweating, hot bods. Hey, you coming to my show? I'll come on something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck all that. Did you did you get a birthday nut? Oh, sir. Can it's your birthday and I know you want to ride out. Listen, I was an animal. Because what do you when mean you, by that? when you're on the road, you so, shit outside. Yeah, I that's crazy. It. Dogs gotta shit outside. We eat in the house. They're like, I don't. Why, why can't I do that? It is bullshit that Greta has to hit a bell. Like how embarrassing. Let me out. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I'd be like, fuck you. I'm shitting right, right. Oh, by the way, we got a Roomba. Those don't work. They do work. Greta hilariously Scared. don't like it. Funny. Of course. Funny. Of course. She, she, thinks, she goes like this. Brr. She thinks that's somebody from the Jetsons coming to life. I mean, dude, imagine being a I'd dog. I fucked that robot what? from the Jetsons. She looked like a box, but I would fucking fuck her. I don't know. I always thought the mom was hot. The mom's bad. Yeah. No ass, though. Uh, who needs one? The robot um, had ass, though. Uh, the robot was Let me caked see. out. The Jetsons. Look, see? Oh. What do you think God she uses that? Yeah. yeah. What do you think she uses that goddamn vacuum for? Sucking Dust? dick, dude. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I was, I was, I was all, oh, what the hell's that? Jetson's outfit? You oh can... <laughs> my God. Her Take... name was Rosie. Who? The Jetson. Oh yeah. The Jetson robot. Yep. So. Did you hear? Oh, I can't even do it. Yeah, you <laughs> can't even do it. It would, it would have been the joke where you probably would have left the show. <laughs> yeah. What was it? I guess. It's stu- yeah. Uh, okay. Do you, do you hear that? That, uh. <laughs> the Rosie is pregnant. Rosie the robot's pregnant. No, I didn't hear that. Yeah, she's gonna have a jet son. Guys, I gotta tell <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah, we gotta, I gotta go go out. Yeah. Oh, well, all right. I'm it was, it was nice knowing you guys. Um, I'll edit the episode tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, God, it's only gonna be my camera angle. <laughs> What's happening? Where are we at? Oh, nut. So you were an animal. Yeah, animal dude. I got back and talk. I don't know. My girl was wearing this. You ever see a skirt? And a lady puts it on. And Bro, you go, she can wear anything. And you'd be like, dog, yo, she was wearing a tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> Tablecloths are hot. But she had this skirt on that had like holes in it. Hey, why you got holes? I got something to go through the hole. It was, I don't know. It looked like she was wearing paper mache. Hey, guess what? <laughs> hey, answer me. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I got back. And we, I, I, we, she was, we were talking about like furniture we need to get, which is, God, when you move. If we talk about a couch one more time, I'll kill myself. Yeah. Hey, wait. How, how moved in are you guys? Like 80, 90? Uh, I'd say a good 40. S- I'd say 70%. Oof. That middle ground sucks. It sucks. You're like trying to f- live a fully functional life. You can't. You don't have a table. You're eating all your meals like you're at a fucking after party. Just, hey, how you doing over <laughs> here? Yeah. More fucking lemon meringue because I'm an idiot. Dude, I, I'm literally editing. We have, I can't even explain. Why don't you it. just come here? 
Because I'm dumb. Uh, it's a yeah, great yeah. plan. It's yeah, a great yeah. idea. We I'm literally a, have an office here. So many offices. So many offices, tables, chairs. I'm stupid. So I I didn't beat for like five days. It was all... A I, dream? I used to read Word Up magazine. See? I'm on pace with you. So I was so horned up. I got back, started making out. But in an inopportune time, like she was like, yeah, so I think that we should get to... And I immediately just you were doing that me oh, i don't yeah. give a shit about a goddamn coffee table right now give me hey <laughs> but it was like <laughs> dude it's my birthday dude it was like i was riled up i was riled up and spitting choking i think i might have broke a goddamn uh what are they called shirts <laughs> i think i ripped the shirt off it was bad. It was, I was in it. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, I did this. I started eating her cooter when she was standing up. Hey, standing up. Bobbing for apples. You were bobbing for asshole. <laughs> Title. <laughs> um, dude, I uh, I did this crowd work show in, at the Hollywood Improv. Oh, yeah. Mike yeah. Falzone. Very funny dude. Very funny guy. Runs a show. It's called Surrounded, where you just do crowd work, right? The whole yeah. thing. And I asked this guy, was well, some shit. We started talking about, I was like, what's your favorite position? Da, 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 da. And he goes, oh, I used to be doggy but now i'm like missionary i'm like whoa oh, that's yeah, an interesting switch you know boys to men you know and i go what did it and he <laughs> goes uh i had to stop doing doggy because always hitting her pelvis jesus christ and i was like dog no you ain't no you're not no you ain't also where's your pelvis <laughs> <laughs> I, I well, for know. real like, I don't, I don't, what's the pelvis this is this, this, is this. Are you sure? Yeah. I thought this is the hips. But that's like the general region. But is there bones here? Oh, yeah. Is there? No, this is just goo Pelvis. right here. Go what? There's just goo. Oh, mine are just abs. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. No. <laughs> but, 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 but I don't know. It's just so funny. Oh, I think it's like a whole region. Oh, it's your asshole bone. It's this whole thing. There's bone. Where, it's, where, like, where? it's like there's the United States and then there's states. Exactly. The pelvis is the U.S. Yes. Florida is the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> We used to have tails. Isn't that funny? But but to, in front of a room full of people, who goes, ah, oh, I kept hitting her pelvis. Show me your cock right now. 100%. 100% not big enough. Prove it. 100% not big enough. The pelvis? No. I don't. I, it's a, would, did people lose their fucking minds? Uh, yeah. Well, it was just kind of just like, uh, why are you flexing? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah. Your, your favorite person is still doggy? Yeah. Oh God. Doggy. I think I'm there now. Are Whoa! you? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. What was You're your right. favorite position before, Gabriel? Did we switch it up? I Heroin. like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say that, you bitch. <laughs> now I used to be well, so doggy, but I think even more than doggy is like the the prone bone, like uh, prone the bone. what? The prone bone, like she's like laying on her stomach, so it's like doggy, but kind of laying down. Oh, I've been there. Yeah. Hold up. What? That's a good one. It's flat doggy. Yeah, flat doggy. Call the elevator. That's my position. Why were you guys making fun of me when I when I loved it? I was I was doing an act out like six months ago, and you guys are like, yeah, whatever. It's cool, but it's like I feel like that is like Doggy's the three D version. You're like, you want to see this shit like in four D with like all the effects? What do you want to just see it on a flat screen? Yeah, there's nothing to really look. Get at. on board. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> there's nothing really to look at well, when you're, well, back you're there. Yeah, but it just feels good. It's it's like a transitional position because you're not you're out here in Doggy and you're holding on, yeah. you're doing a bunch of things, yeah. and then you lie flat real quick, then you. But I like the flat because it really pushes everything together, makes everything tight. Oh, yeah, because every all Tweet. the all the things are all the things are pushed. Yeah, I've never eaten cooter standing up though. That's how horned you up I was. Were standing? She up? was standing. Where were you? Were you on your knees? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> on your own birthday. <laughs> How do we go from foot jobs in Phoenix to eating cooter <laughs> on your knees that's love, in August? Man. Dude, that's love, I guess, huh? I was eating cooter, but I was so like, I was she in this- was standing up. I was in this mode where I was just like touching and feeling and I was like, nah, 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 I was looking everywhere. Wait, 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 you, uh, was your back kind of arched to... out? Huh? Was your back like arched out? No, I was literally on my knees like I was sucking her dick, but it was a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> was she like holding on to your hair? Like, get in there. Oh my God, yeah. Really? No. She was choking herself. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what was she doing with her hands? It is funny now the tables have turned. What was she down there like, oh, yeah, fucking lick that bean. I don't know. I think she's writing her diary or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, on your knees? On my knees, dude. Praying. On my knees. 
I was like going from praying tit- for P. Title? Maybe. I was going from tit to 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 vagina. And I, you know, it's kind of without another hand because I was like holding tit, and without two hands, it's hard to it's hard to get into the uh, to the clit. That's what I'm saying. Like that angle, you're very front on to it. It's yeah, like you're yeah. looking at a ring doorbell camera. <laughs> There's not much. You know, you need to be. There needs to be a little bit. Like you need to almost be like underneath it. Yeah, I mean, I quickly realized it was like thirty-five seconds. I was like, that's kind of a long time. Yeah, you're right. Kind of a long time to be like a one, a two. Because I was trying to find it. I was like, I'm gonna find it. Fuck this. I don't need no goddamn map. Give it to me. What did you do after that? I made a sandwich. Mm. No, I threw on the bed like a fucking man. After I was on my knees. (laughs) So anything special for your birthday? Did you ask for a request? Have her dress up like Catwoman. Did I should have. I didn't do any of that. Yeah. Well, it's not too late. Right? I, you're you, right. You're right. I still have a. I still have a birthday. birthday yeah, it's thing. your birthday, and yeah. I, I think Hawaii time. Hundred percent, dude. Hundred yeah. percent. But uh, but yeah, man. My uh, my girl made me this like super like. You guys know that she's making clothes, right? She yeah. makes clothes. Yeah. yeah. So she literally uh she made me a hoodie. Really? Yeah, dude. It's That's fucking it? fire. I don't have a picture of it. I'm pissed. It might, she has my... I, I can text her, but or I can just wear it on the next podcast. But she, like, bought, like... Let's see. One, two, three. It's, like, four different hoodies. And she, like... You know how she does, like... I forget what it's... Uh, upcycle. Mm-hmm. It's, like, she takes a bunch of different stuff and makes one. Mm-hmm. Fire. So, it's literally, like, four different hoodies. So, she, like, the sleeves are different. Exactly. Like, oh, all the wow. sleeves are different. Um, And then she took this other hoodie and cut out sailboats. So, there's sailboat patches on the back it's really well done and on the front like as a name tag it has the name tag and it says Copton. <laughs> i was just gonna say it has to be related to it to it says Copton, dude Can you spell it the same or no the cop Copton. Copton. yeah but it but it's so people just think you're walking around just misspelling captain they're <laughs> no, like no, no. all right go but, ahead cut me in line at chase bank this guy has got <laughs> issues it's embroidered in a way where you kind of can't see it unless you know what it says so it's not like this like defined did, Copton. Did Gigi see it? Your dog be like, what the fuck? 100%. You're I, not Copton. I'm Copton. Because I'm not a Copton. You're not. She's a Copton. She yeah. went to Naval Academy. Yeah, of the USS overweight. Supply chain. She ate it all. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking dying. I'm fucking dying. I'm need you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm a volume shooter. I don't always land, but when I do. <laughs> oh, god damn. Dude, liquid IV. I'm drinking it right now. Look it. Guys, are we in? Gabe, I'm drinking liquid IV right Look now. It. It's a strawberry flavor. Uh, it's my second favorite flavor. Uh, up to the watermelon flavor. But you know what? You're like, man, what is it? What yeah. is he talking about? What is yep. he drinking right now? I'll tell you. Hydration station, baby. Hydration station for that masturbation. Whoa. You need, honestly, I'm jerking you, off my, 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 what, where does, where does your water Where hold? does water go? Yeah. <laughs> Stomach. Inside? You're jerking off your inside. I'm lubing up my insides. There you go. You're feeling better, dude. Yeah. What you're is right. it? Tell him. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates you. Two times faster and more. Two uh, chains. Dude, yeah. And more efficiently than water alone. Plus, Liquid IV products taste great with 10 refreshing flavors like Concord Grape, Lemon Lime, Pina Colada, and Tropical Punch, dude. Sounds like summer, dude. Doesn't it? Sure does. Sure does, dude. dude it's got all the great essentials and a bunch of vitamin B, some vitamin C, uh, and three times the electrolytes of traditional Whoa. sports drinks made with premium ingredients. Huh. Also, it's free from gluten, <clears throat> dairy, and soy. And let me tell you something, dude. I bring these. Actually, you do too. We bring these on freaking tour on the all the time because I'll tell you what. Where Where's water? When you're not in your house, there's no freaking water. And a Sheridan Inn, where's the water? You Marriott, never have water no water. Hotels. So you get, you get, you finally, you find a bottle of water, you pump some liquid IV into it. In the beginning of the day, you feel fucking stupendous. It's a great start of your day. Highly, highly recommend. So grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 15% off. Wow. When you go to liquidiv.com, use promo code SOCKS at checkout. That is 15% off, dude. Go to liquidiv.com, use promo code SOCKS, dude. Go get it. Feel hydrated. Get some energy in your life. That's it. Go. Promo code sucks. God damn. Skin condoms. They're back. Oh, and they are back to protect. 
protect that cock that is that is ladies and gentlemen what? skin condoms they create products for those who know what they want yeah. and who are not afraid to demand it give it to me those who choose to feel everything everything not just in the bedroom no nope. but in life life skin products are designed using the very latest technology to help Robot you and your technology. partner or partners hold up whoa horny ad right i love it partners, partners. yes a lot of them give Bring me the cock in. Look, uh, it's for B6? you and your partners. <laughs> that's a cock. Or that's a bingo. Create a truly intimate sexual experience from condiment, well, condiments. Condiments? <laughs> Ketchup, mustard, honey mustard. Skin products are designed yeah. to, right. to using a very latest technology to help you Lubes, and your partner. Oh. Massagers, vibrators, <laughs> everything. You feel everything. Also, it's the number one non-latex condom brand in the world. Non-latex. Dude, oh, I'm allergic to latex. Not these, you aren't. The yep. strength of premium latex, though. So you still get it. So offering the same protection against pregnancies and STIs, whatever Subaru that is. <laughs> Explore yourself solo or with a partner to reach new sexual heights together, dude. We got they because they don't got just condoms, okay? They got massagers. They got freaking uh. They got delay spray. I'll be using delay spray. Hey, yo, what are you delaying? Come the delay. That's what's up, dude. And it comes in discreet packaging, so your neighbors aren't like, "Oh, wow, wow, you come too fast." You don't need it. Free shipping on orders over thirty dollars in the U.S., dude. Also, you can get this today. Today, whoa, visit whoa. skin.com. That's S K Y N, and explore skin on Amazon. Also, or shop yeah. skin at your local Walmart. Do it, bro. You got a Walmart? You know where that is? Shop skin. Everyone if, deserves comfort. If you want to. Win your skin. Well, exactly, bars, dude. Everyone deserves market. comfort and pleasure this summer. Visit skyn.com. God damn. Oh my fucking God. Ugh. Because fat wouldn't have been funny. Overweight was perfect. Uh, motherfucking Holy, DG. Uh, she's How does she like the new Marvel place? Cut. She Does she have like, like she can run around in the backyard? Because um, your other place didn't have like outside mm -mm, area. Mm -mm. But, now, but now she can. Yeah, now she, we literally leave the door open and she just. She just runs all around. Walks. And... <laughs> no, she runs, man. I mean, she creates impact tremors, but she fucking runs. Um, but no, she like, yeah, the place is like twice the size of my old place. So she can just like, she like literally just runs around. That's great. And, does, uh, is she less amped up now that there's more space to kind of get off some, some You're right, jitters? dude. She, she does feel less amped, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have like a whole like outside space. So she like kind of runs around there. And uh, we literally can like play fetch with her in the apartment. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's. it's I want to see a new place. I'll, I'll check it oh, out. Oh, dude, come by. And how is she adapting to it? Because I know it was like, you know, you've always been in that same area, but she moved. Oh, dude, she's a. Uh, it's like, it's, it's very different worlds where, yes. where you move from. Yeah, I think, um, I think she's adapting really well. She just, we live so close to like everything, right? So we live yeah. really close to Santa Monica where all like the, all that stuff is. And, you know, so it, it's a, it's such a walkable neighborhood. Cool. That she and she like loves walking, so she's walking to like walkable neighborhood thing is great. Yeah, so she's like she wants a coffee. She goes to walk, she wants mm -hmm. restaurants and bars and like Trader Joe's and like everything's right there. So she mm. like the walkable aspect of it is great. And dude, there's a fucking dog park right next door where Gigi needs to go to work out because she's fat. Fuck you Get guys, her absent? dude. I don't think she's overweight. I, I was just being mean spirited. Nah, I bitch fat. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. That's so why I stopped talking. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that the moving's going well. I mean, yeah. moving is one, it's, it's, Done. it's an interesting thing because it's such a big moment for the relationship Yeah, and th it should be like exciting, it, and but it's not. so many little aspects bog it down where it's like, oh, well, what about this? Oh, what about this? And there's so many like decisions you have to make and it's so, yeah. and, it's, and it gets so expensive by the time you finally move in. You forget that it is a great event. And you're like, yep. oh, we fucking, we lived an event. Yeah. We, you, uh, great. you honestly forget there should be some excitement attached to this. I wish just, every place in the world was just pre-furnished. Where, where it's like, you don't even, it is what it is. Like you shop for an apartment based on the furnishings inside of it too. I think too. you can do that. There is, but like I wish everywhere. That way, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like that was the customer. That way you move in, you're like, cool, I guess we're doing this now. Right. Or like, a, or just like, I mean, I'm, I am 100% positive they have these services, but like this is the place we're going to move into, do it. Hey, you order. A, do, yeah, do I it. just I like to just start. Like I don't want to like like I want to just move into a place and be boom, we're done. Yeah, we're, we're, we're everything's moved in, and like from day one to day two, I can have everything. Yep. So there's boxes everywhere. Oh dude. yeah. It's I can't I can't find anything. Well, the, well, the hard part is also stuff comes in waves. So it's like you have everything but a couch. Oh, the couch is gonna be here in three months. Yep. 
cool. Yeah. Have fun sitting on your feelings for dinner. <laughs> Dude, also, also, you order, you get rid of boxes. You have to order stuff. There's more, there's always fucking boxes. Oh, yeah. Stop it. And then when you like live in an apartment complex, other people are going through that too. Yep. So you go to take it out to the recycling. It's packed to up. To the brim. Because motherfuckers don't be breaking down boxes. They don't know how to do you that. Break down boxes. Hell yeah. I'm a big break down box guy. Whenever I do that, I want the neighbors to see me and I'll be like, yeah, good fucking guy cares. I did it. Yeah, I pick up my dog's shit and I goddamn break down a box. You know what I don't do? Recycling, because that's a hoax. But my mm. girl's making me recycle. She literally sat me down and she's like, I know you don't care, but I would like to recycle. And I was like, you're moving out. <laughs> Fuck a recycle. Uh, it's easy. You just put a tr plastic bag on one hook and then you just throw it. It's really not. There. It's really not a big deal. I don't care at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't get in trouble because I put like paper towels in there. She's like, that's not recyclable. I'd be like, it's paper. It's a compost pile now. Uh, Isn't it funny that a, a, a pile just turns into a compost pile if you just put coffee grounds on it? Compost. Yeah, I don't. My, my parents do that. They like collect like their coffee grounds after it's like used and like, no, no, put it in a compost pile. I'm like, what, what is compost pile? No one even knows. Everything but any food waste? I, I don't know. All I, all I know is it's eggshells and coffee. Yeah. And worms be like, aha. Oh. Worm, you know, that's worm's up. Thanksgiving dinner. Chomp, chomp. Damn. What's a worm? Rain. What is a worm? Does a worm have a heart? You need to cut a worm. It just grows. It's two worms now. What in the fuck? <laughs> now that's how you're a threesome if you're a worm. Son. <laughs> that'd be so funny if you did with your cock. Just cut it in half. Have a threesome like that. Yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> but then it would be half the size. Oh, so it's only be... six inches each? Gigi's fat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention, I looked up how big uh, bold dicks are. Oh, there you go. It's pretty surprising. Do you want to guess like length and diameter? Yes. Well, they got all those? Yeah, yeah they got all the Motherfucker data. Motherfucker took the circumference of a cock? I want that job. God damn. What do you do for a living? I measure cocks. <laughs> like roosters? Yeah, like roosters. <laughs> um, all right. Um, a bull's cock. Uh, I think it is, um, uh, I think it is four inches long and three inches in diameter. We go seven by four. Seven by four. It's uh, 30 inches long. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and four centimeters in diameter. So it's like very thin. It's a spaghetti string yeah, cock. Yeah, very thin four and centimeters? super long. Yeah. That's what I have. <laughs> like long or girth? <laughs> Both. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, Cent 30 inches is... Yes. I mean, it's less than that. Dude, he's yeah. literally fucking with like tentacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking like I mean, dog, like, th like this big? That's centimeters. Like, centimeters man, is got four a nerd's rope for a cock. Four <laughs> centimeters is 1.5 inches. So I saw that bad. Oh, but I saw that bad. That's oh, really damn. long though. Yeah. The bulls pussies are real small. Fucking a different room. Uh, but speaking of dicks though. Uh oh, we never talk about that on this show. Uh, this is a headline from TMZ. It says Italian decathlete junk falls out during race. Decathlete, more like decocalete. <laughs> or that dick athlete. I like mine more. <laughs> yeah. Vote in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> they have a video. Wait, hold on. His cock just falls out. Oh, they what, got a video. What? What? Hold can up. we? Uh, can you tell me what a decathlon? Decathlon's like five or ten different. Are events, Italians right? packing like that? Oh, son. Really? A Italians? I thought they had all this fucking a hey, fucking gabagool. I'll fucking no. kill your sister in a in a Seven Eleven if you look at me again. Energy because they were compensated for something. No, sir. Italians are packing. God damn it. Oh, I know. Um, so yeah, here's a video of it from TMZ Sports. I hope you can see the whole thing. Zoom in. So the oh, she sounds hot. So the event of day one for these seven men. No one showing much so far. Not in Ember. The Italian up. in the middle. I can't believe we just run as a sport. <laughs> oh. Where's the unreleased footage? He's winning. Dude, if your dick's out, you have to. You gotta get to the bathroom the fastest. <laughs> There's nobody in those stands. Jesus Christ. Tight inside lane. <laughs> so he just gave up trying to fix it at this point. In my dumbass brain, I think I could outrun all these people. No. <laughs> yeah, they don't seem very fast, do they? He finished last? That's how big his cock is? Where is Show it? it. Show it. Show it. He's so pissed. That's hilarious. Do you know how do you know how much it hurts 
to like run with your balls going like your balls yeah full are they fucking, not wearing like impression shorts or something I, I mean maybe he forgot his i don't know but yeah that you normally do as a wardrobe malfunction i mean or he just has a huge cockiness i mean these shorts are pretty short they don't have to be that big right i guess you ever you ever seen that uh is it is it no he might be a, is it an NFL dude running the 40 yard dash? Maybe we brought this video up. Before. I think it literally mentions it right here. Yeah. Chris Jones. Chris Jones, this one right here. Uh yes. It is crazy, what dog. What happened? What do you mean what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you want to take a gander guess? Just uh, a fucking log cabin. What he was just running and it just fucking. Yeah, 40 yard, popped 40 yard out. dash just popped out. Damn. I'll be doing that on purpose though. God, I mean, I, yeah. Wait, he got an underwear, a underwear deal out of it. Really? Yeah. And a bunch of porn stars followed him on Twitter. Funny. He's packing that much, sir. Sir. Someone Somebody showering? Peeing, somebody's peeing in the background. You didn't record this at any other time. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Whoa. He slid on it. What that, that white Where? dude was shook right before the guy timing it in it was like Jesus Christ that's one oh, here person it is. go down go down there it is. there it is that's on YouTube yep holy dude did you see the shadow that that created oh yeah I mean I could you could tell the time from it <laughs> it's three o'clock. Comedy podcast. Comedy podcast. Comedy podcast. Wow. Holy shit. <clears throat> that um, is wild. Well, you guys want to do a sock talk? Let's do I it. I would love to, Gabe. Um, we have a submission here from Gracie. No, you have a submission from Gracie. Oh, oh shit. Fuck, you're right. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right. I'm going to share this submission with you guys that Thank I got so from much. Gracie. Thank you, dude. Uh, she says, recently, my boyfriend and I have been watching old episodes, and I randomly asked him, where's the weirdest place you've ever jerked off? He said, in the hospital parking lot when you were having hip surgery. <laughs> Yo, surgery would be a long time. And COVID, they're like, oh, only one person allowed at a time. Also, yeah. hip surgery, feel like I'm, we're not going to fuck for a while. Let me get it out now. Get it out. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, whatever you got to do to like wait in the car. It's a long time. What are you going to do? Go to a Del Taco, connect to their Wi-Fi? I mean, you could go to Del Taco and like buy a KSD and Where do you think the weirdest that? place you've ever done workout? Or like work out of is that sense didn't work. But, I, I hear what you're saying. Where's the weirdest place you've ever opened up a laptop and worked? Is there one? Uh, is there a weird? I don't know. That's a stupid. No, question. no, no, no. There's got to be a fucking. I mean, I've never done. Ta I've never done work at like a Taco Bell or anything like that. Um, I feel like I have. I've oh, dude, uh, McDonald's for sure. Was I? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. McDonald's would have like Wi-Fi and coffee. Where and was shit. that? We were doing. We're on the road somewhere? Probably. We've eaten McDonald's together 3,000 times. I don't know. All I know is that I've done weird, weird work. What? I mean, Dunkin' Donuts, of course. I take my laptop when I'm getting my oil changed. That makes like sense, but period. I was wondering if you've ever been at like uh, somewhere weird and just at an Arby's and popped out your laptop. I'm like, <laughs> let me put the AirPods in. Um, no, I mean, uh, I told you my buddy used to write, like, write at like a club. Nightclub? Yeah, like a fucking <laughs> club. Why? Because he said that girls would be like, oh my God, he's done fucking, he's like such a writer. Yeah, not for me. It's, it's so, it's such a weird visual. Yeah, it's like people who drink, uh, or who get beer and read at a bar. Yeah. I mean. It's a thing. You fucking Ernest, Ernest Hemingway idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got a special guest this up in this bitch. motherfucker, dude. We had Whitney up earlier, but now we got the big <laughs> rat boy. king himself, What's Theo Vaughn. What's, What's up, up, man? Can we get him a mic? Yeah, hold on. <clears throat> Hop up in here. Oh. My buddy would eat bread and his arms would turn all red. Just the bottom of him? Uh, you think you would ever lie? We always like... kept his shirt on, so I didn't look at his whole body. <laughs> you look at him like you've been eating you've been eating graham crackers? What you been doing, dude? <laughs> you've been sneaking a couple baguettes? He's like, no, I just, just, I'm just sunburned. No, I know, man, yeah, I wasn't sunburned. like, yeah, oh, damn, dog. You had some brioche? Fucking take your shirt off. <laughs> I just trusted that. <laughs> I just saw his arms were red, man. But I think I think his whole family was kind of like, um, not disease or something, but they had like a lot of impediments or whatever. That's, oh, in, that's in, inbred, maybe a little. Hold I up. don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I never even been to his house. I don't know. You know what's happening? Yeah, bread or inbred. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. I don't know how many bedrooms they had. You know, probably yeah, probably two. Got one room and a whole family. How many rooms did you have growing up? Let me think. I feel you're oh, a bunk bed guy, top bunk. We had five rooms. Holy shit! That's a that's a palace. That's five flexing. rooms is a lot. How many bedrooms? I mean, how many? Oh bathrooms? wait, six rooms, two kitchen. God damn, two kitchens. Two kitchens. No, six rooms, two plus five rooms plus also kitchen. Oh, how six many bedrooms rooms. we talking? Oh, bedrooms, three. Okay, that's pretty standard. How Stay many? How many? Good. Five folks, three bedrooms, five folks, two bathrooms. Two. That's good though. It was good. We yeah and yeah we just enjoyed it you know it was good man but yeah one I heard one of Gravy's freaking milfs died man I gotta really because he's we were just talking about this episode yeah. earlier he's beefing with a milfs dilf oh really yeah, Addison, Addison dude. Ray's dad he's he's fucking you know can we show Theo the video yeah so Addison Ray's <clears throat> dad is trying to fight Young Gravy because Gravy keeps commenting on the mom's like TikTok and she's she's responding back. You know, she's sending wing dings and whatever the hell these fucking boomer milfs be doing. But look at this. This is the, the video he's like trying to challenge the gravy to. That's him? That's the dude. Yeah. It looks like a final level boss in Ninja Turtles. He looks like the Hulk before he turns into Hulk. That's crazy. Bro, that dude <laughs> yeah. will kill gravy. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. It's 100%. Not- Wow, he is full of. He'll anger. choke him out with the Jack Lang's beef jerky. That dude is insane. That guy, I would love to see him in gravy box. Then gravy's so tall, though. I feel like he has like windmill arms. Like if he hits yeah, with one, but I'll I take think, you down. I think he can get into the reach. Scrappy, yeah. that dude would take. I think he could probably take eleven or twelve shots from gravy in a row, and not it wouldn't even part his hair. <laughs> <laughs> to do this video with two chains on, too. That's how you know he's got it. To to keep the chains on, take the shirt off, keep the chains on. The lighting's good. He looks tan. And I don't even think his lighting was that strong. I think he came in kind of just regular adult male lighting. Yeah, his aura kind of lit it up. Do you think this is like pre or post workout? This has got to be like right after a workout, right? There's no way you're posting to millions of people if you didn't just freshly work out. That's post workout. This dude hasn't come probably since (laughs) middle school. (laughs) (laughs) That dude's a full boy. You think he's human full blue up? Chew? Dude, that guy's yeah. seven thousand percent Italian, bro. That dude is. Yeah, his wife full. left him. I don't know what he's been doing. Oh, he's been getting come out. I mean, that's the only thing to do when you get broken up with. But I think some guys like that, they don't want it to get out. He's oh. building it up. They want to ride that freaking yeah. They want to ride the bag. That gravy dog. train. You know what I'm saying? How long have oh. you? How long have you gone without without releasing the demons? I think the most I ever did probably was maybe almost forty days. Forty, 40 days and forty days? nights. That's some Damn. biblical shit. Dude. Are you still off the pornography? Yeah, I'm almost 30 days off right now. Hell yeah. How do you feel? Because I, I think feel I need better. to make that. Yeah. I feel my imagination coming back a little bit yeah. more. Colors feel... are a little brighter. Are you dreaming? Yeah. Are you dreaming more? I've been dreaming more, yeah. Yeah. That's I've been great. dreaming about... Yeah, I've been dreaming mostly about drugs, but <laughs> I have been having more dreams, yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Is it just the, the, the thought of doing it and the pleasure you feel with it? Well, I had this dream that I was on this boat and that and that I had some drugs and then our cruise got off and another group got on and it was like an oh. urban cruise mm-hmm. and I was like still looking for my drugs and so like I was like milling about amongst all the urban people and like trying to be cool and everything. <laughs> Yeah. And also, so how are you asking for drugs? I was just like, like looking through their rooms and stuff while they were at dinner. Oh, you were searching. <laughs> oh shit, that's hilarious. Yeah. You didn't ask her anyone. You're just like I housekeeping. Think, where's a ball at? I had one or two like informants, like low level dudes, I think out there yeah. who were trying. I was maybe trying to get some help from. I don't remember the dream that good. And then I woke up and I wanted to go right back into the dream, but I hit my vape and it fucking made me too awake. Damn. You hit your vape in your dream? No, in On real in real life, in real time. While you were sleeping? I woke up and sleep then hit vaping? It. That's fucking tight. Uh, you don't, I don't check your phone, you don't get a sip of water, you just reach over and hit a mango and go back to bed. <laughs> Dog, if I saw that, if I was a girl and I turned over and saw that, I'd marry that man. Uh, yeah, this man can protect instantly. your family. Yeah. 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 Damn. Dude, because that nicotine will make you wake up, huh? Yeah, it's all it's horrible, man. I think more people are smoking than ever, do you think? Yo, 100 percent Oh yeah. Yeah, because the so vape thing seems yeah. so easy. There's no lighting, there's and no it's, like it's yeah. all like muscle memory. So if you're just used to doing it, it just comes out. And they look fun. It's like an iPhone for your lungs, kind of. Dude, I was at a wedding last week and I got like five people addicted to vaping. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that must feel good. Dude. <laughs> Did you get any royalties on that? <laughs> no, but when they left, I was like, they are fucked, man. But dude, I feel that Did way. Did you get too. any joy out of that? 
I think something inside <laughs> of me must have felt good about yeah, it. Yeah, were, were you going for numbers or you're like, I got four. Let me see if I can get five. I just was like, uh, there were people like, I can't, but what is this? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Then they keep coming back to you throughout the day and the yeah. night and then you give them it. Yeah, it's that I'll take it cocaine home. right there. You yeah. know, they're like, let me get another sniff of that. Yeah. Let me get another sniff of that. So they were good people. They just. They, they need just, a little spunk in their life. A little bit of nicotine. I think I could see them thinking, oh, this makes me hip or this makes me this or that. It feels like it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, if you work at H and R Block, you need something. You need a thing. Yeah. You need. Yeah, a you're thing managing a cool. T-Mobile. You need to do something yeah. on your break. You don't slack too much, like bro. I need to spice it this is, up a bit. But but you can vape anywhere inside. People don't really say anything. You smoke a cigarette inside. They're like, this man's a felon. Yeah. yeah. But, you, but you vape inside. People are like, is that guava? Like they don't give <laughs> a fuck. It's, it's like it's so respected. Is vaping? This is a crazy question. Is you can vape inside? Mm. Most people look at you and be like, let me hit it. All right, I don't yeah, care. yeah. Most, I think most people just don't care. But like, it imagine a lighting up a cigarette thing. inside of a cheesecake factory. They'd be bro, what the I'm fuck I'm going to call the on? FBI for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, because vaping people usually blow it down their pant leg or blow it the like. Shirt, yeah, the turtleneck. Oh, out somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And there's even shirts I saw where it's made for vaping, secretly vaping. <laughs> it's a wetsuit. Really? <laughs> it's like a uh, vaping shirt. I know that they absorb- have pocket tees that hold your vape in the corner. No, I'm talking about hold the fucking smoke. Oh, homie. damn. That ghillie suit? I'm talking dude, there was about a dude next thing. to me who didn't give a fuck on the flight. People be like, vaping on flights. Full smoke. That's a black dude, bro. <laughs> Just say what you want to say, dog. <laughs> dude, if I see smoke on a flight, I'm freaking out. Even when the AC kicks on a little too hard in the beginning of the yeah, flight, yeah. it's all misty. Yeah, that's Like, bitch, weird. am I in the fruit and veggie section? Yeah, what is bonds? that? Why are we going down like that? Is that an avocado? That's yeah. when you got to vape fast when that thing happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, look on his vape. Yeah. I started hitting the CO2 up in the air. Yeah, that's Or people go is. to the bathroom to vape. But I think you can really just blow yeah, down a t-shirt. Yeah, vaping in the bathroom sounds because they tell you not to smoke in the bathroom. They specifically, they don't, they frown upon right. that. Also, they, vaping makes you shit, though. So you can be like, oh, I just had to poop. I'm constipated, officer. Shit? Nicotine, yeah, this yeah. is a fucking oh. guy who's sh- this is a guy who's IBS, oh, like a connoisseur of shitting. IBS, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. this dude is a sommelier of his own ass. <laughs> this dude, but I fixed it. Up. It was it was allowed two years. You could, have, bro. I have my room, my roommates on the show. They would be hearing me do insane things in the bathroom. And then I just had to walk out of there like nothing happened. Yeah, I bet you, you, like you also different... want to go get enchiladas. And they're like, not after that. Yeah. Like John's you feel like a, sick. <laughs> like a different person. Yeah, it was like a two tough, chapters of your life, dude. I had to go to Kaiser Permanente like every other day, dog. I I would have thought I was addicted to the the KP dot org. It was fucked up. Wow. I had who's to go, Kaiser and who's Permanente? Are these I was two not. different people. Uh, it's like a Ben and Jerry's type okay. thing. I don't know. Right. But yeah, I was at the I was at the hospital literally like once a week. It was because they didn't think it was. They kept being like, no, nah, it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. Then I had to get a colonoscopy at age like 23. What? They had a GoPro in my ass. It was like, I was too young to begin a colonoscopy. I've had two colonoscopies. Do you have the age. footage of all the, any of this? Uh, Yeah, it's you on youporn.com. Uh, yeah. I'll watch. Yeah, but, but they finally figured out my colon's fucked up. Really? Yeah, ulcerative colitis is what it's called. It's like me and Pete Davidson got the same thing. You know, hot boy shit, you know, it's... Yeah. yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I didn't have any of that, dude. I just had regular <laughs> looking dude shit. I had like asthma. I had asthma as a child. And, uh, I don't know what happened. Is this vaping helping your asthma again? I don't. I don't have adult asthma. Uh, just kidding. and then I had. Um, I ate a bunch of co- like coins one time, and they had to get <laughs> get it surgically taken out of me. How much money were you were a coin star? I was at baseball. I ate almost eight almost eight dollars worth. Damn. What are we talking? Are we talking dimes, nickels, quarters, half dollars? Oh, an assortment. I'm sure. (laughs) I don't remember all of it. Who kept the change after? Uh, I don't know what we did with it. I'm sure mom has it. Yeah, you put it like a wishing well or something. Wish to never fucking up to where your up to where your old teeth went or something. Yeah, we had a lot of wishing wells in our area. Actually, it's funny you say that. Louisiana, everybody just wishing for something. Well, yeah, they just have extra water in the ground, and so they would have a lot of wells. Damn. What's your favorite thing you ever wished for? Uh. Like a nice rack or something? Probably sex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the amount of time I prayed for sex in church is crazy. Bro, I, I used to have fake stars <laughs> oh my on God. my ceiling. Hell Mary, up. full of grace, let me get some pussy. I mean, so That's many times. Everybody's thinking that. Yeah. Even the priest is like, you know what I'm thinking about? Oh, of course we know what he's <laughs> yeah. thinking about. Let me get that male the JD kid football pussy. team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. But yeah, dude, thanks for coming by, man. Um, yeah. it's always a it's always great to see you, man. You out here just doing shows or just checking in or doing the regular? Yeah, what am I doing? Just uh, I'm working on a movie actually. Fuck yeah, oh, man. Dude, Your congrats, own or man. somebody else's? Somebody else's. Nice. So dude, that's huge. It's a movie about a sober man. living. My friend wrote it. And so doing it. Johnny Knoxville's in it and oh, Bobby yeah. Lee's in it. Oh hell yeah. So it's interesting. I never done it before, so I'm just doing something outside of my comfort is zone. It, yeah. Is it acting or you're Theo Vaughn in this? I'm just acting. I just have a character. Oh, okay. So he's he's what's the character are you like? 
it's just like this kind of angry guy at a sober living. So I think it could be easy to be that. Yeah, just don't nut for a while and you got the role. Yeah, it's like a lot of men in there. I'm out. I'm out on the movie, dog. A lot of men, dude. <laughs> I feel you, bro. <laughs> it's no, like, man. I'm not into sex changes, but I'd send one of these dudes in, you know, <laughs> just to get some tits Bring back. Bring it back with a tit on set. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, what can I give you? A couple tits. Yeah. Fuck these red vine licorice. Let me get some tits. What do we got all these tangerines for? No C cups, D cups? Oh my God, you're just like your videos, dude. Thanks, man. I don't know if that's a compliment or... <laughs> I, I'm trying to suss it out too. <laughs> I don't know. Is that, is that good or bad? I don't know what that means. It's funny. I just keep seeing you as all the different characters and stuff every time you're saying Yeah, I don't even know who I am. I know. So. I could see that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out, man. Two years ago, I was getting fisted by a GoPro in Culver City, so I'm trying to... Coming a long way, dude. Yeah, I came, actually. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, Theo, thanks for popping by, dude. dude thank you so yeah, much, Yeah, dude, congrats man. on the new studio. Thanks, man. Cool. Thank, thank you, guys. That built the king of this thing one, so it was cool. We saw what they did Brian with Johnson. Yeah, Brian yeah. Johnson. He's a very Great talented guy. man. Guy. He is, and he loves doing it, too, man. Passionate as fuck, dude. He like, like, like he cared about it more than we did, which was awesome. He's like throwing us in Photoshop and doing all this stuff. It was crazy. Yeah, man. yeah. He's been know. texting me about doing a new one um, and figuring that out. Are you doing a new set for you, or you don't know yet? Uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking about we might be because we're still looking for a new studio yeah. space. Yeah. So yeah, and yeah. then or might but we might just redo what Do we have. Do you feel in like the you have a different energy recording in Los Angeles versus Nashville? I think, or is it more like how you're feeling? Cause you came around with snow and remember when you came? Dude, yeah, that was a great time, but it was snowing. Like you would drive like four miles an hour and then you're just drifting in an escalate down the street. Yeah. Kids are sledding you, down the street. You did Dude, people, there, right? people canceled yeah. their tickets because it was snowing. It was like, they were like, I don't know. Crazy snow. It doesn't it was, snow there, right? It, it do, but it goes up your nose. It's a different kind of yeah, it's yeah. Different. cocaine. Drugs. Love it. It's that street flake. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, it was exciting. Yeah. Dude. We know you got to get out here, man. We really, really appreciate yeah, it. Thanks for having me, man. I love it. And uh, yeah, I got to come back and do it again sometime. Man. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. And congrats on this. Live on this. Work, man. It's really awesome. Right, thank you, man. Congrats on the film, man. Man, I mean, what an episode. Uh, shout out for Theo for coming by, dude. Uh, I saw he was in the area. Shout him a quick text. Um, one of the nicest guys. So fucking funny. Dude, so so just like the most natural funny dude in the world it's, yeah it's so funny. hopefully we'll get him for a full episode but dude even 10 minutes of theo is better than 90 percent of people i could think of yeah 100 percent here so. um <clears throat> all right guys that's the episode man friendly reminder we have a patreon for extra episodes dropping every friday ad free go on patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod and also if you just want the uh bonus episodes but just the audio we have uh stiff socks plus uh just on apple so go check that out as well and everyone who bought merch thank you so much yeah. we sold everything you guys are awesome and uh that should be out to you very shortly so thank you guys really appreciate it and get them safe love you bye 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 bye